Hi, this is Chad with PrintGrip. Uh, what we're going to be demonstrating today is how to apply your PrintGrip sheet to your palette. Um, I always suggest you're going to want to start with um, your transfer paper down um, or your palette tape. What we're going to do your PrintGrip sheet, your logo top sheet that says this side up is what will be facing up. The back blank side will have an adhesive on it, um, so that will go down. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with peeling your back side down about two inches and you'll apply that, get that nice lined up where you want it on your board. Put down that first two inches and then we're gonna go ahead and peel that top sheet off. Now once we have that top sheet off, we're gonna go ahead and spray with water. And what that's gonna do is gonna make that surface area nice and slick so you can smooth out the air bubbles as we pull back your bottom sheet. So as you start pulling that back, you just wanna get yourself a little gap, just like you apply, like your normal transfer paper, smoothing out any wrinkles and making sure you get all those air bubbles worked out. Once you have that down, simply dry off your excess water. And then you wanna go ahead and tape your top and bottom sheet so that when you're putting on and off garments, your print grip sheet doesn't pull off. and you're ready to go. Now, as I suggested, I always tell people to put the palette tape down because when you are going to remove uh, and replace your uh, print grip sheet, when you put that palette tape down, it's gonna give you a nice release of your print grip sheet, and that's gonna save a lot of time when you go to replace that. And if you do it all right, you can get it all in one shot, and that's a huge time saver. Um, and once you're done with your sheet, start with another clean, fresh palette, palette tape, and repeat. Thank you so much.